Hi guys, welcome to the channel, our everyday getaway. I'm Chris. I'm Katrina. And today we would like to do a review. We're gonna do a mm. campground RV resort review. We are, let's do yes, it. Yes, we are. Let's Mesa Verde RV Resort in Mancos, Colorado. Colorado. One of the great things about this RV resort is it's about 35, 36 miles west Yes. Of Durango, mm -hmm. Colorado. And it's about 11, 10 Seven. miles east of Cortez, Colorado. And half a mile from Mesa Verde National Park. That's right. How convenient is that? Oh, it was and so convenient. Very nice. This was the first campground slash RV resort we've stayed at for a month. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a, it was a great month. We got a great deal. Um, it was I don't know, a 750, 760 a month, and that included utilities. Everything. Could not ask for more. Yeah, and it worked yes. out just, and it was a last minute thing for us. It was. So it worked out yes. just great. Let's talk about the campsites. They have 31 full hookup sites. So three of those are only 30 amp. The rest, the 28, the rest of them are 50 amp. Six of those sites are the premium site which we did not get, but you know what? We didn't really need it. Yeah, they're, they're, premiums, they're, they're beautiful. They're, the yeah. premium sites are insane. They're just these large sites. They're so large that you could actually fit two RVs in that site. I think so. They also have partial hookup sites. They do? Yes, and they have a dump station as well. So there are 17 partial hookup sites. Six of those are 30 amp and the rest are 50 amp. And they have one cabin? One cabin. One cabin, which... And Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, it looked like a nice cabin. It did. And then they have 10 uh, tent sites. So the, the tent sites were very nice as well. They are. The amenities for everyone to enjoy. Oh, there's a huge list. Yeah. Um, there was a nice in-ground pool yep. that's open from uh, Memorial Day until October 31st. And then there is a nice eating, um, cooking kind of camp area i don't know how, what else to call it yeah there was an area where you could hang out with a couple ga gas grills so if you did not have a grill and you wanted to use this area it was a, like a communal area for everyone to use it was but it was really it was nice. very nice and they had a fire pit there too and some lounge kind of chairs and if you use those gas um grills you weren't paying for any propane no so that was awesome amazing there is a couple hot tubs and one in particular is for d adults only mm -hmm. And uh, that was really nice. Actually, actually, as you're sitting in that hot tub, you're looking at Mesa Verde. Some nice views across oh, the street. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely. absolutely. And they had a hot tub in the um, pool, pool area, area. Mm -hmm. which was for everyone to use if Anyone, they wanted to. children, whatever. Now, the sites were all gravel sites. True. Every site was gravel, but True. they were fairly level. A well-maintained, very clean RV resort. The customer service there was fantastic. The camp hosts were great. They were very helpful for us. We had a lot of issues during this time, especially the issues with my surgery. Mm -hmm. They were they were able to accommodate us and help us out. Well, you know, Chris was out having surgery, went and being flown into Colorado Springs, and I'm left by myself not knowing how to move the RV, really didn't know how to do the hookups and all that kind of stuff. And these people there were amazing. They could not have been and, any nicer. And if you guys didn't get a chance to check out that video, I'll put a link above right here, or I'll put a link down below so you guys can check out that video. Hey guys, wanted to let you know that this video was sponsored by RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. About four months ago, Katrina and I decided to upgrade our RV mattress. Now, as many of you know, when you buy a new RV or you get an RV, the mattress is bad, it's terrible. We wanted to upgrade our mattress. So we reached out to rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding to get a new mattress. And we wanted to let you know what we thought about the mattress after four months. After only four months, I'm sleeping so much better than our old mattress. Yeah. I'm a side sleeper. If I don't get a good night's sleep, I'm gonna wake up with a sore shoulder or my neck's gonna hurt. With this new mattress, none of that's happened so far. And I'm a side sleeper as well, but I'm also a hot sleeper. So we let RV Mattress know about our concerns. They were able to work things out and recommend the right mattress for us. And that mattress was? The Aurora Hybrid Lux. Yes, I. what she said, and guys, 
It's been fantastic. I can't tell you. This was by far the best upgrade that we have made. So some of the things that RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding offer is that they offer free shipping anywhere in the United States. Awesome. Perfect, right? They also offer a 120-day sleep trial. Yeah, and you guys know right? that you can't go into a mattress store and lay on a mattress and, t you know, you need that time to really try it and find out if it's right for you. Absolutely. And there's also a 10-year warranty. I mean, we'll have that warranty long after I think we're going to have this RV. Yeah, yeah. I think we might have to drag this RV mattress out with us when we're done I think with the we RV. will. <laughs> I mean, right? 10 years is awesome. It is. And the best part of it all is they're made right here in the United States. America. That's yeah. a good thing. Awesome. Yeah. It's great. Guys, go to rvmattress.com forward slash getaway to get your 20% discount off your RV mattress using the code word getaway. getaway. And another thing to keep in mind, rvmattress.com, our book on bedding, they also offer a lot of things. We bought pillows and sheets. And, and, a mattress, and mattress topper too. And, yes, and yes, they've been fantastic. They so they offer you a lot of things, more than just the mattress. So make sure you go so over there's there. Tons, so what Chris is saying is there's tons of accessories. Yes. Go online, check it out. We, we have been extremely happy with everything we've got from Brooklyn Bedding. Once again, rvmattress.com forward slash getaway for your discount. It's yes. very important. Yes. Thanks again to rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video you it's a 30 to i guess about a 40 minute drive into durango there's sure. a lot to do in durango yep. and you can go in and with durango there's all kinds of restaurants and all kinds of stuff to do it's crazy hiking biking rafting four-wheeling all kinds of good stuff and as far as cortez goes cortez was fantastic as well plenty of things to do in cortez plenty of uh, places to shop the campground also had a camp store. I don't really wouldn't call it a camp store. It was more like an office with a couple shelves of food. So if you want like, you know, ramen noodles or a can of beans or something like that or a soda, but you're not going to get milk or eggs or anything like no, that. No, it's not your usual run of the mill campground no. store. Just no. a little few knickknacks and stuff like that. And the bathhouse? And the bathhouses there were some of the most immaculate, incredible bathhouses that you could ever want to use we didn't use the shower in the rv not once now you may think oh that's crazy but the bathhouse was maybe what 50 feet 50 it, feet away from us it was not that far away and if you know me at all i don't like to venture outside of the rv when it comes to a bathhouse or showers but these were so nice yeah it made it worth a while mm -hmm. just to walk over there the, the water was hot they were nice and big and roomy plenty of pressure yeah everything and, was great. and they had one of the things that we run into a lot with campgrounds, they don't have places for you to put your knickknacks, you know? Well, your soap and your shampoo and stuff Right, like that, they don't right? have, they, not an issue there, no. right? No. Not an issue, not great. a problem. It was great. It was a phenomenal campground. Well, there's more. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Okay, so there's a playground for the kids. Yes. There was um, horseshoe. There was a dog walking designated area. Though there were other areas you could go to. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, propane. You could. You didn't have to leave the campground. You could get propane filled right there. And actually, one day we were going to get it, and the guys were like, no, 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 no. They just grabbed their propane tank, took it, filled it, charged it at the, at the office, and yeah. brought it right back. Same thing for um, mail and packages. We had quite a few Amazon packages a delivered. Lot. Yeah. Quite a few. Uh, a and lot. Uh, they brought them right over, no extra charge. Uh, it was wonderful. And there was also a bike trail but it was mm -hmm. more of like a i what i would call a dirt bike bike trail if you have, you know it was more of a dirt mm -hmm. area but you could ride your bike around they also rented electric bikes now i don't think i ever saw anyone rent the bikes because of its location on route 160 it was a 160 i think so oh, yeah i no one really I, there wasn't really a bike path area for you to ride there was no true area to take right. to. we could have we could have put them in the back of the jeep and driven down the oh, road plenty of and, places and went somewhere to do that but we didn't plenty of places not. oh Mason. laundry we talk about laundry you, you did. did i say they were open 24 hours yes i think you did i did you, you did say Gosh, that. look how excited she gets for doing laundry well, that's fantastic it was fantastic because i could actually wash some of my larger blankets which i don't wash inside the rv because the washer and dryer even though it's not a combo it's you know separate Whirlpool, 
it's just not really not big enough. It's not made for those big blankets. If you guys are thinking about driving out to that area, this is a place that is a very convenient. Being so close to Mesa Verde yes. uh, National Park, it's just phenomenal. Everything worked it's, out I mean, just it's fantastic a half mile for us. Away. How can you go wrong? Yeah, and if we had a rating system, uh, if we did like a you know a five star, would we do a four or five star rating? Five star rating. So if we did, we're going to do a five star rating. Let's do it. We've never done a rating before. Let's do it. How many stars would you give it? Four. Most definitely. Now, here's the thing. Now, why? That why would you do that? Weak Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi was very weak. It was very weak. Was Though it was free, free, but very weak. Yeah, and it really didn't affect us much because we had the Starlink. For us, we used Verizon. True. So the cell signal was so-so. We used the WeBoost, mm -hmm. and using the WeBoost allowed us to kick it up a little bit. True. So that helped us out as well. Well, we don't have... AT&T and T-Mobile, no, so we can't we speak to that. So between the Starlink and the WeBoost and Verizon, we were okay. This is a common theme through a lot of campgrounds. The Wi-Fi wasn't that great. No, no, could have been better. Thank goodness for Starlink. Well, another thing they do not have, they do and they don't, you can use a ga gas grill there. So if you have True. a gas grill, elevated grill, you can use that. They don't have fire rings for yeah. campfires. They do have a communal gas fire pit. They have a couple of them. Yeah. And then if if, if you don't like that and you want to do something on your own, they will rent them to you, the gas ones. Yeah. Um, but you just can't use wood. There's no wood fires. Yeah. It was a really nice RV resort. Yeah. I think resort's kind of pushing it. It's more Maybe. of a campground to me. Maybe. But, um, but even that being said, we had a great time. We enjoyed it. We... Um, I would Actually, definitely I stay like there a again. Family. I felt like I had family there. Yeah. That, they were so nice. The camp host would yeah. constantly come by and check up on us and see how and things Tucker, were going. All and the time. They, they were paying visits to us and, mm -hmm. hey, how are you guys doing? Is everything right. okay? Anything we had an issue with, they were more than willing to help out sure. and accommodate us. And that goes a long way to covering up any other flaws that any campground, you know, just the customer service can make up for a lot. True. When they make you feel good and they make you feel wanted and they care about you and they're willing to work with you. Mm -hmm. So we, would we say a four? We give them a four? A four out of five. That's okay. solid. That's, that's a, good. That's a solid four yeah, without nice. a doubt. And there you have it. That is our review of the Mesa Verde RV Resort in Mancos, Colorado. If you guys have ever been there, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you're thinking about going out that way, you may want to consider the RV Resort. I agree. I think it's, it would work out great for you. There's lots to do in the area. Like I said, you will have lots to keep you busy. Oh, and that's another thing. Uh, they're only open, real quick, they're open for a period they're of time. open from Memorial Day to October 31st. Now, that's for just general, if you want to stay there. If you want to stay there monthly, you can stay in the winter, but there are just a couple specific spaces you can, starting this year. They just Right, don't. and I think if you stay there monthly, the other things aren't open. No. You know, so you're no. just kind of staying there, full hookups. You don't have access to a pool or the camp store no. or any. The, I don't even know if they open up the bathrooms. I'm, I'm, Prob I'm not sure. Probably not. Yeah. Because the pool closes Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah. So can winter there if you want to. And some, and some people do. How awesome is that? It's such a great campground. I mean, I can't, you know, say enough We feel things. fortunate that we ran into it because we were not supposed to be there. And last minute we made reservations. And, and like you said, we would go back, wouldn't you? We, I would. And there you have it. Look, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we release a video. Mm -hmm. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. We really appreciate your support. We do. And remember, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It always helps out the channel as well. Any, Any day, day you, you can, can get, get away is a, a great, great day. day. You guys take care. And thanks, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We do. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Take care.